Hi, in this lesson, you will learn more about graphics objects. Along with shapes, you can also add images, text, and lines to your creations. When adding each item to the canvas, we will be following the same three-step process. First, create the object. Second, customize the object. And third, add the object to the canvas. Let's try adding an image to the canvas. First, we need to create an image. To create an image, we write the new keyword, the web image constructor, which is web image with a capital W and I, followed by parentheses. Between the parentheses, we write a string of the URL to the desired image. And to be able to refer to the image, we will store it in a variable. Next, we need to customize the web image. We can set its size and its position on the canvas. To set the size of the image, we write the name of the variable storing the image, dot, set size, followed by parentheses. Between the parentheses, we write the width and height of the image. In this case, the width of the image will be 200 pixels, and the height of the image will be 150 pixels. To change its position, we write the name of the variable storing the image, dot set position, followed by parentheses. Between the parentheses, we write the x and y coordinate of where the top left corner of the image should be anchored to the canvas. In this case, the top left corner of the image will be anchored at 100, 50. Lastly, to add the image to the canvas, we will call the add function. It's also worth calling out that we stored the URL in a constant variable on line one here so that we can use it when we create the web image on line three. To create a text, we write the new keyword, the text constructor. Between the parentheses, we write a string of the text you want to add to the canvas. And to be able to refer to the text, we will store it in a variable. We can also determine the size and font of the text if we'd like by adding a comma and in quotes, the size and font name. All text objects are enclosed by an invisible rectangular box. The text box is anchored to the canvas at the bottom left corner of the text box. To set the position, we write the name of the variable storing the text dot set position followed by parentheses. Between these parentheses, we write the X and Y coordinate of where the bottom left corner of the text should be anchored to the canvas. In this case, the bottom left corner of the text will be anchored at 125, 130. There are a couple of other functions we can use to customize the text as well. We can set the color of the text, and we can change the value of the text. This allows us to update the value of the text without having to create a new text object. Lastly, add the text to the canvas by calling the add function and pass the variable text between the parentheses. And finally, let's try adding a line to the canvas. To create a line, we write the new keyword, the line constructor. Between the parentheses, we write the X and Y starting points, which in this case is 150, and the X and Y ending points, which is 300 and 200. And to be able to refer to the line, we will store in a variable. We can customize the colors and the thickness of a line. To customize the color, we write the name of the variable, dot set color, and between the parentheses, write a color string. To customize the thickness or width of the line, we write the name of the variable, dot, set line width. Between the parentheses, pass the number of pixels thick that you want your line to be. Similar to changing the value of a text object, we can reposition the line later in the program if we'd like as well. To adjust the starting point, you write the name variable, dot, set position, and between the parentheses, the X and Y position. To adjust the endpoint, you write the name of the variable dot set endpoint, and between the parentheses, write the X and Y position. 
Lastly, add the line to the canvas by calling the add function and pass the variable in between the parentheses. Let's explore some of these examples together in the editor.